हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय न्यू यूट्यूब चैनल सच इन एजुकेशन हैव इन इंग्लिश सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द कंसेप्ट ऑफ सीवीपी एनालिसिस मींस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इन के इन द चैप्टर ऑफ मार्जिनल कॉस्टिंग राइट वी ऑल नो दैट इन केस ऑफ जी एंड एग्जाम्स दिस चैप्टर इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन केस ऑफ मैनेजमेंट अकाउंटिंग राइट एंड द जी एंड एग्जाम विल बी in next two days for the management accounting subject and punjab university students had already done with that subject and i already completed the marathon for that purpose but we will upload the marathon for the gnd students as well on that subject so they will also get the good marks in their exam especially in theory case right because most of the students wants to attempt the theory except of practical because their practical is not good so by completing the theory they will get the good marks easily so the question in marginal costing chapter will be very important what is this question is this question is regarding to the cvp analysis write a short note on the cvp analysis and how it is very helpful for managerial decision making so before starting the concept of cvp analysis we have to first write the answer with the, the starting of meaning with meaning of marginal costing what is marginal costing actually it is the change in total cost with the change in output what it means if i am producing 10 units in the last month and if i change the output with one unit means if i am producing 11 units in that month and the change in total cost affected means with a change in one unit with a change in output your total cost also changes then it is considered as marginal cost the change in these total cost with a change in output is considered as marginal cost right meaning is very simple and you can also write it with the example right if to make if you want to make the answers very effectively but the main thing is what is cvp you all know about the three concept cost volume and profit the name said already right but the main thing is what is cost these are including the three concept that is fixed cost semi variable cost and the variable cost but what is sir volume please tell me the volume because it is a main thing i don't know about that sir it is a cost driver but sir what is cost driver it is a very new word for me it is not the new word it is not the new word if you know about abc costing that is activity based costing it is a word here driver cost driver is a word in abc costing what is cost driver and volume is the cost driver what is cost driver that is the base which distributed the cost means if i have an ex- if i have an expenditure or the overhead of 1 lakh rupees in the total in the total and i want to distribute in the activities and the base to con- and the base which help me to distribute these 1 lakh in four or five activities this base is considered as cost driver and what is the volume and volume is considered as cost driver volume helps to divide the cost volume helps to considering the profit actually so it helps in both and with the help of these three relationship we do cvp analysis i think is it very simple to be understand so now our question is how cvp analysis is helpful but before this the cost is of three type we all know about that fixed cost semi variable cost and the variable cost first we consider the fixed cost we all know about that the cost that not be change in the year or not be change with the change in output simple what is variable cost that is change with the change in output i already considered it Uh, with an example if i uh, if i am producing 10 units and comp- uh, and now i am producing 11 units so a one unit considering the cost that is known as variable cost with a change in one unit what the cost will be increase or the unit or the per unit cost or with the change in per unit cost the output is all uh, with the change in output your cost is also changing and the total cost is a combination of both variable cost and the fixed cost and fixed cost will be changed not be changed right but variable cost will be changed 
सो इन सिंपल वर्ड मार्जिनल कॉस्ट डजेंट चेंज विद द चेंज इन फिक्स कॉस्ट मार्जिनल कॉस्ट इज ऑलरेडी चेंज विद चेंज इन वेरिएबल कॉस्ट एंड इट ऑलरेडी अफेक्टेड द टोटल कॉस्ट सिंपली सेड सिंपली सेड चेंज इन टोटल कॉस्ट इज द ओनली रीजन विद द चेंज इन वेरिएबल कॉस्ट सिंपल वर्ड राइट सो सर we already consider the concept of fixed cost we already consider the concept of variable cost now there is a turn of semi variable cost what is very uh, semi variable cost sometimes the uh, semi semi variable cost means the two concept of fixed cost plus variable cost both will be considered here what it means sometimes it is considered as variable sometimes it is considered as fixed cost is it i am right no 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 there are many type of cost which didn't be considered as variable and which couldn't be properly considered as fixed cost when there is considered in confusion it is considered as semi variable cost in simple word for an example telephone bills and electricity bills that couldn't be considered as properly variable that couldn't be considered as properly fixed asset or oh, fixed cost right so in simple word this expenses these expenses will be in the category of semi variable sometimes fixed sometimes variable right as you know we consider the word how right how how whenever considered it means how cvp analysis helpful cvp analysis help the manager in budget planning with the help of budget planning your managerial decision making is easy to be kept or it is easy right budget planning what is budget planning we will we will prepare the budget easily with the help of cvp analysis because we will consider the cost we will cons uh, cons we will consider the cost in three ways fixed cost variable cost and semi variable cost which is very beneficial for the budgeted costing right and with the concept of these three cost we make our budget and with the help of these budget we make our budget planning and with the help of these budget planning it is helpful in our managerial decision making for the future purpose right our second second point is to make the decision regarding pricing and sales volume cvp analysis also help in making the decisions regarding to managerial ma regarding to management with the help of making decisions regarding pricing and sales volume what it means cvp analysis helps us to take decisions regarding various type of pricing various types of sales volume by considering these factors it is very easy for the manager it is very easy for the manager to take decision regarding to future purpose for any type of management right our third top, uh, our third thing thing is helpful in prepare flexible budget already considered that topic with the considering of three type of cost it is easy to prepare the budget or very important it is easy to be prepared for the flexible budget which contain all type of cost at a different levels of production easy to be right right now our fourth point is determining the sales mix at a different level of production or decide what proportion if i am considering the fourth point what it means sales mix cvp analysis with the considering of all type of cost or profit or as a cost driver volume all three factors help me in considering the sales mix and what is sales mix which help in dividing the sales between different levels of production which helps in dividing the sales between different levels of departments so in simple word if cvp analysis helpful in determining our sales mix and how our sales mix is distributed between all the departments then it is very easy for the manager to take the decisions for our next future plannings or next future benefits right these are the four main important concept that are considering in cvp analysis as an important advantage but we also consider some other thing is things are that is decide price level of uh, price of product 
simply said cvp analysis helpful in deciding the price of the product as the price is properly decided it is easy for the manager to take the decision next one is volume or level of activity per unit variable cost firstly we consider the per unit variable cost if we have a per unit variable cost we will easy to find the marginal cost concept why because per unit variable cost help us to define the change in total cost if we easy to define the change in total cost it is very easy for manager to define the concept of cvp analysis and as the analysis helps already the manager to take the decision for the future purpose and to make the management more efficient in their work right and the last one two two concepts are total fixed cost or the mix of product sold in simple word total fixed cost cvp analysis also help the manager in deciding the total fixed cost what the fixed cost in our per year, in our full year for the purpose of production or for the purpose, uh, purpose of sales or the for purpose uh, or for the purpose of managerial decision making or in case we discuss the last point that is a mix of product sold already we will discuss this point in our fourth step that is the combination if we consider the simply said simply said wait a minute simply said we have cvp analysis what it means we consider three concept cost volume and profit right these three concept make the combination make the combination with each other and help the manager to define what is sales mix for all types of levels of department after considering all types of levels of these department it is very easy it is very easy in the uh, in the management for every type of person or the for every type of manager to decide or to make decisions regarding every price decision regarding every concept or decision regarding every activity in the management what's the mean what the other name is i think i am just point out the main concept that is cvp analysis and these all points help you to define the concept how cvp analysis helpful in helpful the manager to take the uh, take the decision for the future purpose in simple word right so in simple word this is all about cvp analysis and this is a main concept is volume is also the cost driver i am all i am already told you that thing right so this is the main thing regarding cvp analysis and how is it helpful in managerial decision making i hope this question is very beneficial for all the students to be right easily in our ex uh, in our exam that is specially for the management accounting for gnd students so i hope you will write it that question very easily and get the pdf in our telegram channel for the detail purpose so this is all about today friends thank you so much and i hope you will understand this concept very easy and please like and subscribe and share our videos as much as you can because it is our new channel your support will help me to grow easily and beneficially thank you so much friends this is all about today thank you so